<laughs> I think one of them just might have won down. One of the big guys. That or I'm wrong. No, they're, they're retreating again. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's for it's for the, the greed. Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdom New Lands. I am your host, Lord Falcon of the Purple Cape Pim King lineage. Okay, let's stop that right now. We are in day number 34. I am looking for this episode for us to get the hell out of land number four, and that's going to happen here today, I hope so. Unless we die, then it probably won't happen, but we're hoping that's not the case here. I have a bit of a strategy here planned out for us as we dump money all over the place. Stop that right now. Um, there's two things we need to do. There is a portal on the right-hand side. Is there? Yes, there's a portal on the right-hand side that's blocking the exit to us. Um, when we bring that down, we will trigger a huge wave from the left-hand side. There's two ways we could go about this right now. Number one... Number one would be... Time it in time so that we have the boat nearby here, so we attack that portal and the boat's nearby and then the boat just gets to the dock and we get the hell out of here and we're all fine. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be to just reinforce the hell out of the left-hand side. And that's another option, too. So I'm thinking of two different ways to kind of go about this. I do know for a fact that we have another Blood Moon not too far from here. So we might be dealing with two back-to-backs. Now, if I am correct, the portal is going to be right there. And beyond that is our exit itself. Now, the problem is, how far from that portal is the exit? That much we have to kind of really still figure out. Um, so right now we're going to have nighttime. As, as I found out... I haven't read this in the comments yet because the videos haven't gone up yet for um, the last episodes. But um, I, I imagine, I'm pretty sure one of you guys will confirm it for me, but I could only imagine that Barkley died at some point due to a raid. I can only imagine because that dog has disappeared completely now from the face of the earth. Or at least from the face of the kingdom, I should say. So what really sucks about that, I'm not really sure where the attacks are coming from. But so far as of late, we've been getting nothing but attacks on the right-hand side. So I can only assume that's where it's coming from. And then the big cave only sends monsters after you bring down a portal. This is all my guesstimation, which I assume is correct. But you know, there's always room for error in my guesstimates here. I think, since I have so much money, we run to the left-hand side. As a matter of fact, let's have you guys start moving this boat now. Why not? The fact I can't throw any more money in there lets me believe that you're basically ready to put um, start moving that boat. I think we run to the left-hand side, we fortify every wall along the way to our kingdom, so that if we get overrun, it's going to take those monsters a very, very long time to actually reach the kingdom and even reach us on the other side. So that's going to be my idea here. You guys have money for me? You do. Pick it back up, I will probably be using that on my way back. So, let's go ahead and do that. I think we fortify left-hand side first, and then we just um, fly the coop here. Um... The only problem is it's going to require a lot of my builders on the left-hand side to run back and start building stuff up. So that's fine, though. So, last time when we got overrun, they got all the way up to the farm area, and that's where they eventually simmered down a little bit. Here we have a big-ass wall, so that's cool. Um, I could probably build you guys up a bit higher as well. I don't need a farm here at this point, so forget that. Another wall here, which is great. And where is the... Where is the new perimeter over here? Not entirely sure. Pretty far out. Damn, there's no... Oh, here we go. Here's another one. So, you know what? If any of my extra builders are around, we have them build those walls, too. Just in case. You know what? Build a wall here, too. There you go. So, here's my perimeter right now. The cave is to the left-hand side. Um, let's give you an extra fella to hang out with up here, too. Why not? Yeah, we're a bit low on people to build all this at the same time is the problem here. So... It's going to take a while, but I think fortify, fortifying our defenses on the left-hand side once we're done with the port on the right is probably the best idea I could probably do here. Hey, don't run off. Don't run off just yet. Come back here. Come back here! Builder man. Unfortunately, it's my catapult people working on these things over here too, so... They're going to go ahead and not man the catapult here for a while, I meanwhile this happens. Come on, fellas. You know what I haven't seen? Is this, is this even still in the game? Is the statue for the builder's uh, thing still? Or is that just not existing anymore? Yeah, look at those guys up there. Because before, like, there used to be a statue for the builders. It would basically kind of, like, buff the walls. It wouldn't make them build faster, I don't think. But at least the walls would be buffed up. But that, um, I haven't seen one single builder statue since we started this um, New Lands expansion here. So, And even on my off-camera play before I recorded the series, too. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to tell you. Not sure it's completely random or it's just been removed completely here. 
Um, this will be the wooden wall, right? Or is it the stone wall? Ugh, it's the wooden wall, barely. Get to work on that one. Yeah, we're just so low on builders on this side. That is going to take a long time. Look at that. Yeah, it's going to take a very long time for it to even do that. As a matter of fact, I don't even think the one's down here. Oh, there they go. Hey, yeah, go help on my other fellows over there, please. Please do that. So that'll bring me the small stone wall on that side. Over here we have big wall. There, yeah, go over there and help. Good. And that's what I like to see. And that's not to say that we're not done over here, right? Uh, they just completely ran by this one. Oh, good. Very nice. The the <laughs> the one for the farmers is completely down now because they're all the way running to the left hand side. Okay. I have to assume and just believe in my builders that these guys will indeed build these walls by the time I launch the attack on the right hand side and we trigger the assault on the left. Are those all my builders from the right-hand side running there now? I hope that's not the case. I do need a couple of you on the right-hand side, right? You're getting tired. Get some grass. Okay. I hope that's not all my builders on the right-hand side running to the left to help those guys out. If so, then whatever, but I'd rather... Yeah, see, they stop building the boat. <laughs> okay, so that's done. You don't move unless there's some builders to move you, huh? Okay. Let me tell you guys, I do believe tomorrow is going to be the Blood Moon. Based on the, yeah, we're on day 35. I could only imagine next one's Blood Moon. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're going quite far to the right, so damn, it's going to be a long trip for these builders. I really want to get out of this land this episode, so if need be... You guys are probably going to the boat, aren't you? If need be, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of cutting here after we're moving the boat. Because at that point, nothing bad should really happen to us. After the big-ass assault, mind you. I'll keep the big assault in. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see me either lose or, you know, win that one. But after... Afterwards... Oh, thanks a lot for the money. Appreciate it. Okay, so that held up. That held up just fine. And there's builders right there for the catapult. Alrighty. This buff here might have helped us out here a little bit too. Day 36. If it starts raining, yep, blood moon time. Probably not the best time. Oh, wait a minute. Probably not the best time for us to move people or attack that. Thing. Again, we're dealing with two back-to-back -back Blood Moons. And remember, the portal attack from the Blood Moon is going to be really, really difficult, really strong because of all the um, portals we've taken down so far. So I'm only I'm expecting four of the monster attacker, teleporter, Teletubby guys. Is Teletubby guys good? I think it's pretty good. You know why? Because they actually, like, you know, on their bellies... Actually, they regurgitate small little greed. But when they regurgitate them, it looks like it's kind of like they have like this really big telly tummy thing. Am I really referencing the Teletubbies in 2016? I guess I am. Alright, look, that was after my time, but I was still growing up. I was still, like, you know, a teenager when the Teletubbies were big, so it's not really something I watch. I assure you I didn't watch the Teletubbies as a teenager, okay? But I heard about it, okay? It's kind of like Bananas in Pajamas. I think I was a teenager by then, too, but I still reference Bananas in Pajamas on occasion because it was something I heard about as a kid, okay? I had small cousins. They watched Teletubbies and Bananas in Pajamas. It wasn't me. Don't assume it was me, goddammit. I know that's what you're thinking about right now. It's like, oh yeah, Falcon. Smooth move trying to cover yourself. I'm not covering myself. I assure you I'm not covering anything. <laughs> you gotta believe me. Alrighty. That boat is definitely making its way over here. I can only assume now, because it's coming over on this side, that they have built up some of the walls on the left-hand side. So, after this Blood Moon, we bring down Portal, and then we... Wait for hell on earth to hit us. Definitely gonna happen too. I, since I have so much money and these guys are dropping money left and right, I kind of want to drop some money here so we alleviate the the blood moon assault, which I expect to be from the right hand side right now. So that's not even a question of where it's gonna happen. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do 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 do. Just alleviate it here a little bit. Those guys have money for me over there too. So that's fine. There, give me the money. See, that's what I'm saying. 
We will coax the greed to leave us alone with all the cash that we are leaving for them on the road. Now, knights, do you need any HP? No, knights are fine. There he goes, Blood Moon. What I like about the knights is they snatch the gold from whenever you drop it, they just instantly snatch it to themselves. They're just kind of like, no, no, that's mine. Leave it alone, Night Archer. That's mine. They just instantly snatch that shit from the air. I love it. Perfect. Alrighty, guys, everybody behind the walls, if you aren't behind the walls, you know, good luck to you. Now, one thing I have noticed, I'm not sure if it's just me, maybe you guys could confirm it for me or not. I have not seen Big Guy and a Blood Moon. Um, a regular Blood Moon. I've only seen Big Guy, I think, whenever we attack a portal. Am I correct on that? Nope, there's Big Guy. Never mind. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Alrighty, guys, you ready for this shit? Alrighty. You better be ready, because John Madden's ready. You got that EA Sports at John Madden 2K69? Get this guy off of the sky, please. Good. Three of them. Oh, nice! Two and one go. Don't run back, knights! Don't run back, knights! I need you, you pieces of shit! Keep shooting him. Keep shooting him. I know you want to get your bulls again, guys. I appreciate the effort, but... Gold? Shit. We retreated way too far. We need another wall in between. God damn. Alrighty. So, for next time, Falcon, have a wall in between your last perimeter and the last one, because then my knights retreat all the way back, and we can no longer post up behind a wall and shoot again. How far are we going? Oh my goodness, God. Are we really going? Okay. I need definitely another... Well, I mean, I don't need it now because this is the last attack. Yo, I'm almost out of money here, so we should probably... Where the hell is my wall at? Over here. Okay. Okay, so hey, I found something out new. Definitely have a wall in between your perimeter and something else, so if you get overrun like this, there's a new area for them to post up behind and start attacking afterwards. Okay. Lesson learned. Oh, here's my boat, too. Hey, guys, what's happening over there? Oh, you wouldn't believe what's happening, let me tell you. Catastrophe. Madness is happening out here. Oh, he's down. Oh, the boat guys actually sniped that motherfucker, too. I love it. Alrighty. Big lesson learned. Big lesson learned. Now... We have a few of you fellas. Now, mind you, there should be a couple of bows back here you could probably run and grab. I want to say. Pick up these coins here randomly. Yeah, there you go. I know there's a couple of bows here left over. You hunt a couple of these rabbits here for me because we're going to need to do that soon. Uh, and that is where the portal is at. You know what? We got overrun, but now I learned a valuable lesson in terms of having at least another barrier behind my current barrier. So at least if we have to draw back, there's another place for us to stop the attack from. Okay, that's a very good lesson learned. Um, but you know what? Since the boat is making its way over here, I think we have enough to just actually attack the portal now. And by the time the cave assault shows up, we um, should be by the dock then, right? You guys are making pretty decent progress, I would say. Yeah. Go for it now. Who dares wins, as they say, right? Go attack that portal now. And if I could find my farming area, I would grab some money off of them. Thank you. Go for that attack. I know we're attacking at night time and they're going to probably get attacked, but I think uh, we'll probably hopefully get there in time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pushing it really close here, but... Um, I think my hand has been forced because of that attack that brought down the wall. I, th I think we got it. I mean, there's nothing to worry about, I don't think. But, valuable lesson learned. If we decide to have a perimeter, make sure you have a backup one that's not like, you know, a fucking mile away, because then all my knights retreat all the way back. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, so if you get pushed back, there's a stop by. Okay. That's where I played it kind of wrong. I always kind of skip quite a few walls. You see all these walls here that I've skipped along the way? Hmm. I mean, technically speaking, 
it's not something that I needed to do for the first couple of lands. It's only land four that's really kind of fortified the effect that, you know what, these assaults get pretty goddamn crazy now. But um, for the earlier lands, it's definitely not a big thing. So now i got to change my play style. I've been playing it kind of like, you know, very insecure because the first lands aren't really that much of a problem because of the small amount of portals. But for the future lands, it's definitely, you know, like more slow and steady wins the race type of thing here. All right, are you guys rushing back? That portal went down, by the way, guys. I just heard it right now. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I heard it. Yeah, they brought the portal down. So, um, hey. There we go. Everybody's in one piece. Uh, we're about to get attacked like crazy. Did you guys need to lose any coins? No? You got them? Very nice. So, with that said, Boat, you get to the dock really quickly. Because they're gonna come at us like hell on earth. And you know what? You better have some coinage for that, Falcon. Luckily for us, we did make a couple of walls on the left-hand side, so I know they're going to rush through the first wall up on the perimeter on the left-hand side. I know they'll probably even rush through the second one and third one, but we did make a few extra walls just for that reason alone. So, whenever we see monsters start showing up here close to us, then we know we're in kind of some deep shit. And I'm trying to hang out relatively close to find out what happens. But at least the portal is gone now. Oh, you know what I've just realized, though? There's probably going to be some trees along the way after that portal, so that might actually impede the progress of our workers here. Let me come back to town and make a couple of bows, because we did lose some bows here along that way. And we might need a couple of extra archers to stop the overrun on the left-hand side, which I expect to happen. There's a lot of you guys making your way back here, huh? Basically, what I've noticed in Kingdom, the difficulty comes by the length of the land. You know how, like, the first few lands wasn't really that long of a stretch to kind of travel by? Now it is. And that's what makes it a lot more difficult, because there's a lot more land for you to cover. So my banners are still in place, meaning that even if we're being pushed back, they're still dropping back behind walls and they haven't completely lost out just yet. Alrighty. Get ready for a, a Falcon Scream, too, because I know it's coming right now. Oh, boy. How's it going there? Any reports? Yeah, I got a report for you right here, buddy. Okay. Any reports? No? Okay. There you go. As expected. Now, the, the shitty thing is we've lost the archers. We've lost the archers for that night squad. I'm trying to help these guys out here to hopefully get rid of all the ones behind this wall. Hoo-hoo! Three of you guys, huh? Yeah, this archer is not going to do much for us. <laughs> I think one of them just might have won down. One of the big guys, that or I'm wrong. No, they're, they're retreating again. It's not for you! It's not for you, it's for, it's for the, the greed! Get those big guys. Shoot the big guys. I've been told that if I max out the towers behind the wall, um, they're actually, they make like this crazy weapon that's a bit more, I guess, um, useful. Oh god, a blood moon. It's a bit more useful for um, those big guys. So, again, that's something that we haven't really focused on again for the lands prior, because it's never been an issue. But now that we're in land four, I have to, again, change my strategy. That's one of them right here. Okay. I'm hanging out over here because, yep, yep, I know. I expect that all to happen here. Oh my god, that knight just fucking flew. Giving you some HP, dog. Snipe away. Oh, they're still in tow, man. They're still in goddamn tow. Grab the bows! Don't run over to the right-hand side. You you focus on the left-hand side. Give us enough room to get the hell off of this land. That's all I'm really asking from you. Give us enough time to get out of the land. Um, Good luck, uh, farmers. Any gold from you? Thank you. Alrighty. The other thing, too, is that we need to make sure that we're taking all the knights with us. And unfortunately, we're only going to take like two sets of knights for the fifth land. 
which is a bit low, but fortunately I do... I have learned a really tough lesson here with this land now. Yeah, yeah run wherever you need to run. Go, get, yeah, go give them some backup. That's perfectly fine, guys. More power to you. Uh, I should be able to jump forward from here. One for the road, huh, guys? One for the road. I better have enough gold to set that ship a sail, too. Actually, I don't think I do, because I have to give gold to these guys to go to the dock, right? The, the knights? Or have they already gone to the dock themselves? Oh, shit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's a dock. That's still a lot of um, traveling time, though. Oh, no. Guys. Guys. I think we've made an error. Where the hell are my knights, too? It's a very good question. Where the hell were my knights? They weren't at the, at the perimeter, were they? Well, actually, I jumped the perimeter because we lost the perimeter. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if we're getting off of this land after all. I'm not sure. Well, it's a long way before... Yeah, we should probably get there. Uh, okay, so you guys go towards the exit. Any money? Money, though? No money? No money. Okay, no money. What about you, fella? No money from you? I mean, for all I know, maybe the assaults turn back. I, I, I'm not sure if they ever turn back, though. No. <laughs> no turning back. They are going to the fucking dock. This is a race against time. And the thing is, I don't think I have enough money to launch the boat. Unless they give me money whenever um, they kill some of the deer along the way to the exit. Yeah, keep running, fellas. Believe me, you're going to want to run. You absolutely want to run. All right. I want to say the boat should have gone to the dock by now, considering the amount of traveling we did to go to the left-hand side. I just scope what's happening over there. Whew. This was a troubling map. Oh, good God almighty. Are you really not there yet? Uh, deer. Follow me, please. Get get um 360 no scope by these um archers here. Deer, fall in love with me. I'm the deer god. You must fall in love. Yes. Come here. Yes. Snipe. Guys, wait till wait till he gets close to us though. Oh my god. Look at this race against time here. Where the fuck are my knights? Oh, here's some extra gold though. Thank you. Knights. Knights at. Guys, this is like cutting it so close. <laughs> do I have enough money to launch? Do do am I gonna get here in time before the, the assault shows up? <laughs> this is this is the most hectic run of all time. Oh <laughs> just pump those legs a bit more, workers and builders. Fall in love with me, dear. I need to make sure I have enough gold. I think I have enough gold. Come on, hurry up, guys, hurry up. Okay, knights are here. Knights are here. Oh, thank god more gold. Take off! Take off! Take off! Hurry up! Hurry! Hurry! Oh my god! Everybody on board! Knights, get on board! <gasps> oh my god. It hurts, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Inside, the falcon heart is beating pretty hard. The falcon butt is clenched pretty tight. Fuck this land. But you know what? Valuable lessons have been learned. Valuable lessons have been learned. What the hell is that? Did I just unlock Toad from Super Mario or what? I don't know what that is, but he's unlocked now. Valuable lessons have been learned indeed. Um, perimeters? We need a little bit of backup perimeter. We cannot have big gaps in perimeters because then we get pushed back way far back and there's no way to recover. Lesson number one. Lesson number two. Gotta get good for land number five. Whew. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hectic episode for sure. I am. I need a break. I need a drink. I need 
I need to go drink until I pass out for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode. Land number five coming up pretty soon. Can we survive it? Oh, it's going to be a tough one. I will catch you next time. <laughs>